blood transfusions, what you need to know and do. Episode one, what are blood transfusions? Marcus, Mr. and Mrs. Williams, it's good to see you all again. Marcus, I'm glad you're recovering well from your stroke last month. The blood transfusion we gave you in the hospital really made a difference. I would like for us to talk about starting you on regular blood transfusions now to help prevent another stroke. Can you explain what blood transfusions are? Yes, we'd like to know how transfusions will help Marcus. Sure. Everyone has red blood cells, and inside the red blood cells is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin's job is to carry oxygen all through our body. Normal red blood cells are round and flow easily through our veins and arteries, like cars on a highway without traffic. But for people like Marcus who have sickle cell disease, their red blood cells are sticky and form a crescent moon shape. These sickled cells are not as good at carrying oxygen, plus they get stuck and clumped together like a traffic jam blocking the blood flow. The red blood cells cannot deliver oxygen throughout the body as they should. A blood transfusion is when healthy blood from a donor, someone else with the same blood type as you who does not have sickle cell disease, is put into your body. A blood transfusion helps because it unblocks the traffic jam in the blood vessels and improves the blood flow and delivery of oxygen. We gave Marcus transfusions in the hospital to unblock the arteries to his brain and stop the stroke. Now we would like to give him regular transfusions to prevent more traffic jams so there's less chance he'll have another stroke. When Marcus starts getting these blood transfusions, will he still have pain crises? Good question. Even though the reason we want to give Marcus regular transfusions is to prevent another stroke, they will also decrease his pain episodes and may prevent other complications of sickle cell disease, like acute chest syndrome. How many blood transfusions does Marcus need? Right now, the best way to prevent another stroke is for Marcus to have a transfusion every three or four weeks for the rest of his life. This is called chronic transfusion, when someone gets transfusions on a regular schedule over several months or years. What we did in the hospital was called acute transfusion, giving blood to help with an urgent health concern like a stroke. Do you have any more questions? Yes. How safe is the blood? A lot of people worry about getting an infection from blood, so I'm glad you asked. Donor blood is tested really thoroughly, and it's extremely unlikely to carry an infection. There are some other complications that we'll watch out for with chronic transfusion, like iron overload and transfusion reactions, but we can talk about those next time. Thanks, Dr. Smith. Let's go, Marcus. Watch the other videos in the series to learn more about blood transfusions and what you need to know and do.